Yeah, let me record these two. I only got two quick ones. Freshman from Paola, Kansas. Like 10 minutes. Are you closer to Rockers than he is? Truman, no, I'm but recording. he's in their starting rotation as a freshman. Yeah. First pitch is in the dirt for ball. Jake Snyder back behind the plate. The senior from Fenton, Missouri. Cam Gardner leading off again, and he'll be patrolling center field. We already saw him make a catch. That one accidentally fell off his bat. Definitely didn't want to swing go that back one. To yesterday's but game and today's it's game. One -one. I'm going to capture nothing but outfield catches. That's a base hit to right field for Gardner. Big start to the day for the Hawks. Perfect placement there from Cam. Struggling in the three hole as of recently. He went 0 for 3 with a strikeout to last game. Hoping for him to break his slump today. It's interesting to see. Last game we had a lefty and lefty matchup with no bullpen arms. This game we could see the exact opposite. Starting with a righty righty matchup. Could see quite a few bullpen arms. You never know. Luke Lancaster yet to pitch for the Hawks. He's number one out of the pen for them. He can always eat up two or three innings if needed. But I think Coach Burns wants Clayton to go the distance if he can. Stretch out that arm. 2-0 and quickly to McNally in a favorable count against this senior. Always dangerous. Zach Schneider pitched well against this Hawks lineup last game. Only two earned runs, five unearned runs. There's a pickoff. Gardner back in there safely. That's, that's another good pickoff move from this Truman pitching staff. This one from Daggett, the righty. So Cam had a little more time to get back. They were talking about today. They were like, now that we got our starting lineup back. But down in a 2 0 count is dang it. The ones that's always yakking. But now, but now. It looks to be swinging. But first, another pick off. They're keeping Gardner awfully close over there. It was always a threat to steal. Alley. Swinging 2 0 over the head of Daggett. Picked up by Kaiser and thrown out at first to Messi for one down in the inning. He did advance the runner, so I'll give him a quality at bat for that. Up next is Nate Mark. Hitting three this game with Murta as the normal two hitter and catcher out of the lineup. McNally, Mark, Herrenbrook, Stommer, they all move up one spot in the order. Mark went one for three last game with a strikeout. Looks to drive this run in, but first he swings and misses at a strike. So what, you hit the home run, you got the, a base hit. This one is fouled away by Mark. Looks like Daggett's bringing in some velocity. It'll just be up to him if he's able to control his off speed. That'll really be the key factor here in this game, or else Rockers will be a threat up and down the order. So they've shown they can handle the fastballs. This off speed taken inside for a ball. One and two count. Yeah, I saw but the Hawks lineup also did struggle a lot the last game getting down in 0-2 counts early on. And then Schneider was just able to generate some weak contact off the bats of the Hawks. Generate outs for the first four innings of the game. This off speed is in the dirt. Good block there by Schneider to keep it in front of him. Definitely don't want Gardner getting over to third. But now the count's back even 2-2. I expect a fastball here from Baggett. Let's see if Mark is expecting the same. And he is. He fouls it away. We'll do the 2-2 again. D 
defense pretty normal positioning out there. Right fielder's a little off the line. Because if we go to Twin Beaks in Kansas City, you know, you got, that's a, that's a, that's a haul. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Another foul ball off the bat, and Nate Mark looks like Daggett does not trust his off-speed enough to throw it. In a 2-2, maybe 3-2 count. We might see one here, but if Mark doesn't bite, we'd go to a full count with a fastball coming. See what he decides to throw here. Fouled off again by Mark. This is a tremendous at bat here from Nate upping the pitch count. Well, it's gonna be interesting next next season because you know those four returning seniors are gonna get put on the field. And your boy is coming back, I'm telling you, watch. Craig. Watch. Craig gonna come back. He does throw the off speed, he hung it, and Nate, Nate couldn't quite capitalize. He pops it up to the right fielder. That's Carter over there getting his first action of the series. So Nate flies out to Carter. Now we got Heronbrook stepping up. Heronbrook went one for three last game. Did have a crucial double that gave the Hawks the lead in the bottom of the fifth. He nails this one down the left field line. That'll be down, and that'll score a run. Gardner will trot home easily. Heronbrook digging for second, quickly thrown in by Spicer. Not in time. So tie with his second double of the series. Drives in Gardner and gives the Hawks an early Top of the lineup for the Hawks. Cam Gardner will lead us off. He started the rally in the first inning with a leadoff single and then eventually scored off the double from Ty Heronbrook. Gardner drills this one to left. Back on his Spicer and it's gone! Cam Gardner, first pitch swing, launches it over the left field wall near the scoreboard for a solo shot as he rounds the bases. That's his third homer of the year. That'll be good enough to put him for third highest on the team in home runs. He's not very big, really fast. Also has a little pop. Need now to be hard to get this run in. But Cam Gardner is up again. He's two for two on the day. And a first pitch home run. Let's see if he can continue his hot streak and drive in Kraus from third. He foul tips this one, and it will roll fair. Oh, mishandled by the pitcher, and that'll score a run. Gardner will be safe at first. Weird play right there. Daggett was. Daggett kept it fair on purpose on the way of Gardner who had to go around him and then bobbled it so 